Part of modifying your car is making it your own. Whether it's the suspension, adding more power to the engine, or customizing the interior. But there's just something about a well put together exterior. Sometimes just a few subtle changes on the outside can make the car look completely different. That's why in this episode, the Mazda 3 is getting a full exterior makeover. So before anything, I'd just like to take a few seconds to thank anyone watching this video. It's taken quite a, a long time to film, do the mods, edit everything and get together with friends to do certain things on the car. So big thank you to anyone supporting the channel, this Mazda 3 build and watching this video. So hopefully you guys can enjoy the content. So first thing I did was to change out the black wheels I had on the white Mazda 3. So I went with a set of 2012 Mazda MX-5 special edition wheel. They look really nice uh, with the gun metal. I also installed a set of uh, 25 mil spacers front and back. So once I had the wheels on the car, the uh, tires needed to be replaced. So I got a set of Michelin Pilot Sport 4S. So the tire spec is the same as what I previously had on the black wheels and it's 215-45R17. So moving to the side of the car or slash interior of the car, I got the windows tinted very similarly to what I had previously on my white Mazda 3. So I got 20% on uh, the side front and back. I got 5% for the rear hatch. The only difference that I went a step beyond with this particular car instead of my white Mazda 3 is that I got the windshield tinted. So I got a 50% on the windshield I think it really completes the car and it makes the interior quite nice and dark. First thing I did when the weather warmed up in the spring is clean the engine bay and as you can see I don't think it ever got clean before. Carbon buildup on the valves is a big problem on direct injection engines. A way to lower the amount of buildup is to cap off the intake and install a breather filter on the valve cover. With the engine bay all shined up, I removed the wrap from the rear spoiler and prepare it to finally have it the same color as the car. Since I personally don't listen to the radio, I thought the car would look cleaner with the antenna removed. So I filled the hole for the antenna and sand down some rust spots in the front while I'm at it. Once the paint has dried for a few days, I give the surface a final rinse and wipe it with alcohol before installing the wrap.
add a bit of bling to the door jams by installing some Mazda 3 scuff plates. Going back in the trunk area, I decided to delete the rear wiper to again get a sleeker look. Wanting to contrast the mirror caps with the wrap roof, I prep them and paint them gloss black. Moving on to the back of the car, and we're using some dark gray paint to be able to paint the diffuser area of the car. It's similar to what I had on the white Mazda 3 because that was a Mazda Speed rear bumper. First off, I remove the plate and tape off everything. Then to have a nice even area, I sand down the surface, wipe it clean, and paint it. Finishing off by removing the badges and touching up some rock chips so the car would be ready to get detailed. But unfortunately, we didn't have the best weather. All right, guys, I'm Nathan from Valueway Detailing. Here working today on JP's Mazda 3. So we're doing a paint correction and coating on this. First step of any detail is starting just doing a wash. Start with the wheels, because you don't want really that overspray going on after you just cleaned your car. Afterwards, we clean the paint with something that would strip any previous coatings on the paint. We don't want any previous coating affecting the adhesion of the coating to the paint. Afterwards, we use a clay mitt instead of a clay bar to decontaminate the paint. It's a very effective way of doing so. Uh, it's a lot quicker than using a clay bar. If you think you need a clay bar, Sure, by all means use it, but uh, clay mitts nowadays, the technology has come such a long way that you don't really need to worry about scratching your car, especially if we're doing a paint correction afterwards. Alright, so next up after the wash, we bring it in for the drying process. What I did here is use microfiber, wet microfibers uh, to dry it instead of a large drying towel. It's a process that works very well. Then 
we started with the compound stage. So for this particular vehicle, we used Griot's Fast Correcting Cream along with a microfiber cutting pad. Now doing this single stage, normally you would wanna go maybe do a polish or something afterwards. This here is JP's Daily Driver and the paint, let's be honest, is not the most perfect paint. And when we started attacking it as well, we also noticed that the front right fender and bumper has actually been repainted. You can see it's actually a different shade of blue. They did a good job doing it. It didn't pose any challenges in terms of actual paint correction and his non-accidented vehicle wasn't an accident. So after we were done with the paint correction, we're gonna start applying the coating. For this car's coating, what we went with is Ammo Reflex, which is a ceramic coating. Started by using the applicator and doing one small section uh, at a time, giving it about a minute to flash and then buffing it off. We did this twice to stack both layers, which is something you can do with the Reflex. Not all ceramic coatings can do this. Next up, as a topper, on top of the ceramic coating, we used Ammo Skin. And again, we did this twice. Ammo Skin is a polymer sealant that's gonna give you that extra gloss, that extra pop, and also the extra hydrophobic property. It honestly, the combination with the two, looks amazing. Now that JP's car has great paint protection applied to his vehicle, gloss enhancement, and everything else that benefits from ceramic coatings, all he has left to do is enjoy his car. Building this Mazda 3 in the past few months has been an amazing experience. From swapping all the parts over, to installing new ones, to making great memories with friends. I'm more than happy on how the car turned out, and I can't wait to see what lays on the road ahead for it.